What's going on guys? I was asked a question on how to create printable lined paper inside of Affinity Publisher. So I thought I'd make a quick tutorial just to show you guys how easy this is to do if it's something that you may want to print from home as well. So to get started, what we need to do is we need to select the correct size canvas that we're going to use for our lined paper. So in the UK, we use an A4 as our standard size letter. However, you guys in America will use the letter size. So it's up to you which one of those you you want to choose so once you select either the a4 or the letter size or alternatively any of these that you would like just go ahead and go to your pages tab we're going to turn off facing pages as we only need the single page and as I want my lines going from edge to edge, I'll go ahead and just turn off the margins so once you've done that all you need to do is go ahead and hit create then from here we're going to make our way over to the left hand side toolbar menu and we're going to select our table tool so with that selected all we're going to do is simply drag this out until we have two columns as you can see right there and with the two columns i'm just going to drag that all the way down to the bottom let that snap to the bottom of the page i'll do the same with the top just drag that up till it snaps and we'll do the same on the left and the right hand side till that snaps to the edge of the pages so the reason I've created two columns, as you can see, we have column A and column B is because column A is going to act as our margin. And what I mean by that is you can see that we have this center line right here down the middle of our document. And that right there is going to act as our margin. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to make that a little bit thicker. We're going to change the color and we're going to move it over to the left hand side. But before we do that, what we need to do is we need to highlight and select all of our cells and rows inside of our table. Then we need to go over to the left hand side of the screen inside of our table tab. If you guys don't see your table tab over here on the left hand side, simply go up to your window menu, go down towards the bottom to where you see table and just make sure you have that table option checked. Then you'll also have access to this menu. So once you have access to your table menu, all you need to do is focus on the stroke and fill section. And inside of here, we're just going to change a couple of the border options. So what we need to do is target this center line right here down the middle of our document. And the way that we would do that is by selecting the option right here, which is inside vertical. So with that selected, you can see it's now highlighted our center line. So what we're going to do now is just change the color from black to any color that you guys would like to use. For me personally, I'm going to go ahead and just choose red. Then what I need to do after that is just make this line a little bit thicker, which we can do inside of this menu right here. So instead of 0.5, I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger to maybe one point. Then I'll just go ahead and deselect that so you guys can see what we have. So right now you created your margin line in the color and thickness of your choice. And what we need to do now is just move this over to the left hand side and use a required space in that you will find in a common size document. So what we're going to do next to move this margin over is we're going to edit our table once again. But this time around, we're going to select all of the cells and rows inside of column A all the way from the top to the bottom. Then we'll make our way over to the left hand side once again inside of our table menu. This time round, we're going to be inside of the cell section. And what we need to do is just change the width of the cell. At the moment, you can see it's 105 millimeter. However, the standard size on this kind of project is going to be 32 millimeters. So if we go ahead and we just adjust that and type in 32, that then is going to move our margin where we need it. So if we go ahead and we just deselect that, you can now see that is all gone into place. So the document is now gradually coming together. However, there's just a couple of more steps that we need to take. First of all, we need to make our line spacing a little bit bigger as this is far too small. So once again, we'll edit our table by selecting all of those cells. Then back over to the left hand side inside of our cell menu, we're going to go ahead and change the height. At the moment, this is at 4.9 millimeter. However, the standard size that you're going to need for this is going to be 7.1. So we'll go ahead and type that in and hit enter on our keyboard. Then once once again, I'll just deselect so we can see what we've got. So at this point, we're almost there. All I'm going to do from here is I'm going to change the spacing on this top row just to allow a little bit more space from the top of the page to our first line. So the way we're going to do that is go back into our table. We're just going to select column A and column B on the first row. And we'll just adjust the height of that to maybe around 20 millimeter. This is your personal preference, how big you would like this. I'll put 20 and see how that looks. So I'll just deselect that. And that looks pretty good in my opinion. So I'm happy with that. 
So next, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get rid of any additional rows that we may have inside of our table. So if we go ahead and we just select that once again, and just double tap, you can see that we have all of these down the bottom that we don't need. So I'm just gonna drag those all the way up until we got rid of that. And then I'll go ahead and deselect that. And I'll just send to that document in the screen. So now we are 99% there. The only other thing I would change, which you guys won't see on the screen right now, and it's not really important, it's just whether you wanna do this or not, is it's going to have a border on the outside of this. So if I just drag this over slightly, you can see we now have this outline going around our table. It's not gonna matter because it is going off the screen, but for me personally, I'd like to turn that off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of this once again. Then I'll just head back over to the left hand side and inside of the border options, I'm gonna choose the outside border and I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the stroke section and I'm just gonna hit that X and that's gonna turn that off. So if I deselect that, you can now see that has disappeared and I'll just go and move that back into place and that is finished for this document. However, there's a couple of more things that I wanna show you which you guys will find really handy. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a template of this one that we can access at any point that we need to use it. So in order to do that, we're gonna go up to file we're gonna go down to export as template. Then it's just a case of creating yourself a new folder. I name my templates and just save that to my desktop. So inside of here, we're just gonna give this a name that we wanna save it as. And as this one is an A4 document, I'll just type in A4 lined paper. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna quickly change the size of this document so we can make this a US letter size rather than an A4 and also save that as a template. So the way we'll do that is make sure that you have your move tool selected. Just up here, we're gonna choose document setup. Inside of here, we're gonna change our page preset from A4. You guys may have chose letter to begin with, so choose whichever one that you would like. For me, I'll go ahead and choose letter. I'll go ahead and hit okay. Then what we need to do is we're gonna grab our table. We'll just move that into place and then it's just a case of adjusting the size of this. So we're gonna drag that over to fit. Then once again, we're gonna go and select column A and we'll select all of that. And we just wanna make sure we have 32 millimeter over here once again. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard just to move that back into position. And then what we may also want to do is just adjust our spacing up here just to allow this to move up at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and just grab column A and B on row one, and I'll make that just a little bit smaller just to try and bring that up. And then that should look perfect. So that is our letter size now set up. So just like before, I'll go ahead and just get rid of any additional rows that we don't need. So I just drag that one up and just go ahead and deselect that. So now that is the US letter size. So once again, we'll go up to file. We'll go down to export as template. This time around, we're gonna call this letter lined paper. And once again, just go ahead and hit save. And you guys can go back and forth as much as you like in between your document setup, and you can change all of these individual sizes just following the same steps that we've already done. So from here, what you're gonna do is every time you open up Affinity Publisher, so we'll go up to new, and this is what you'll be presented with every time you do open up Affinity Publisher. If you find that you wanna go ahead and choose any of your lined paper sizes that you created, you're just gonna go down here to where it says templates. What we need to do is use this option right here to import our folder. So we'll go ahead and we'll select that. So right now I'm inside of the templates folder that I've just created. So there are the two files that we just made. So I'll go ahead and just hit choose. And now you can see we have our two different documents inside of our templates. So every time now we open up Affinity Publisher, these are gonna be automatically inside of our templates. And all we have to do is select either one of these. And you can see it's, it's as easy as opening up either the A4, going back to new once again, back down to templates, open up the letter size, and then you always have these to hand. And it really is just a case of going up to file, go down to print and just print these off. So like I said, you guys can make as many different document sizes as you like, just following the same basic steps that we've already gone through. Just save that as your template. And then once you open up Affinity Publisher, you'll always have access to those files. So before I wrap this video up, there's another thing that I just wanna quickly mention. If you find that you don't actually want the margin line on your document, then all you gotta simply do is just edit this, go into column A, and just simply delete that column. And now you can see we are just left with the line pages. Me personally, I like to have the margin there, so I'll go ahead and just undo that. But that is your personal choice. You can have it or you can remove it. 
And of course, you can always come back at any point and just simply change the color of that if you don't like red. So we'll go ahead and we'll just quickly change that to maybe blue. And you can also go and change the thickness of it. It remains editable all the time. So it's entirely up to you guys which color and thickness you like. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, then please go ahead and hit that like button as it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps other people find my content. And of course, if you haven't already, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm on a personal mission for 2025 to try and hit 10,000 subscribers. At the moment, I'm at around 7,300. So I'm gradually getting there, but you guys could really make that happen for me if you can hit that subscribe button i really would appreciate it but for now i hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next video